Well, apologies, we do have one or two sound issues at Plumpton there. Simon, I can assure you, is on track and commentating for the people at, uh, at Plumpton. But you've got, got me, you're stuck with me in the short term, where both the Stage Star and Mortlack are just racing up sides at the moment. You can see Mortlack is pretty racy in that sheepskin noseband just to the left in the hands of Jack Hogan, who claims the five pounds off, which certainly helps as they approach the fence at the top of the hill. Both of them successfully clear it, and we can try once again to join Simon. We had a very busy season so far, netting four wins over fences. He's much more experienced over fences than Stage Star. He's had just the two runs over the bigger obstacles. Heading across the top and about to enter the back straight. And Stage Star on the inside of Mortlock. Mortlock's got the £10 penalty. Stage Star just a £5 penalty. As they clear that one and now on the descent towards the new next two fences. Plain fence followed by open ditch and open ditch. Stage Star who was beaten at Newbury on his second start over fences, won well first time at Warwick. Coming to this plain fence, going down the hill, and now on towards the open ditch, at the foot of the back street, for the first time. Mortlock and Stage Star. Stage Star coming up well there for Harry Cobden, who, uh, along with his boss, Paul Nichols, having a tremendous season. Mortlock in second. And round the railway bend. And now about to approach the fences in the home straight. So on towards the next. This is going to be fence number seven of the 14. Stage star. By about a half length going to this one. Mort look was a little bit careful perhaps over that. Only just got to the other side. On to the next. Stage star for Paul Nichols, Mort look for Fergal O'Brien, both trainers with better than 30% strike rates here at Plumpton. So a circuit to go now. And overall, they've jumped well. And up the hill. And it's stage star by a couple of lengths. Going on towards another plane fence, which is slightly in the shadows. Over safely, and now about to run left-handed. Three down the back to take, two in the home straight. Five more fences, favorite leads away, stage star. Can Mortlock serve it up to him in the closing stages here? Heading into the back straight. Downhill fence coming up, stage star, and Harry Cobden. Perfect better than Mortlock, and now he's getting away a little bit down the hill. Stage star in the mauve jacket hoop sees of the owner's group. Out in front from Mortlock. On to four out now, plain fence. About three lengths between them, maybe four. Stage star over Mortlock, maybe closing up a little. Harry Cobden looking very comfortable on stage star. Now the open ditch, three out. Lovely jump by the favorite there. Stage start leads from Mort Look in second place. Jack Hogan just begins to nudge away on him. Rounding the bottom bend, two fences left to jump. Stage star, Mort Look uh, having another cut at the leader here as they run into the turn, but uh, definitely on the back foot. And stage star appears to be traveling much the better. Still got to get over the last two fences without a blemish, though. Stage star on the right. Mort look on the left. Here's two out. Oh, he asked him for a big one there, Harry Cobden. And stage star really delivered as they run now towards the final fence. Stage star draws away from Mort look in second. Just got to get the last fence right. Comes in to take it. And brilliant again. Stage star well over from Mort look. And on the run for home, it's going to be a very easy win. A second win over fences for stage star, who comes about 10 lengths clear of sole rival Mort look.